time we borrow Time our children to us lend Here today, but gone tomorrow Like a spark fly in the wind We all look up to our fathers All our lives is all is right and we all need a mothers when the day is dark as night and the drums of war are getting louder a sound you never heard before so one of the biggest challenges you're going to face if you're trying to put one of these up alone is setting your plates by yourself um, and what's hard about that is you usually have multiple joints that have to go together all at the same time that's why we chose the style of scarf joint that we did for all of the plates and uh, so basically that allows me to set one plate at a time otherwise if I'd had 50 feet worth of plate and I did the same style scarf joint that we did down below for the tie beams I would have to have that entire plate together all at once and get it to line up on every single post and every single queen post all at the same time and go down absolutely perfect. That's probably not in the cards for me. So what I do is I do that the scarf joint we've been working on uh, since we started plates. And I have a trick for putting the braces in that some of you may have noticed or seen as I do it. But what I do is I put the brace in the mortise for it in the post and I scab a piece of fur and strip there to hold it in place. And that gets it pretty darn close to where I need it to sit for when I set the plate on top. Now it leaves me a little bit of room for adjustment because once the mortises start to drop in, or the tenons start to go in the mortise, I unscrew the uh, fur and strip and then I can kind of work it a little bit to get it how I need it to go. So anyway, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing here and uh, it's going to be dark soon. So I've been cutting braces uh, since I get home from work. Well, not really since I get home. I had to have dinner with the family first and then it was time to come out here and uh, try to get something done. But so what we're going to do, we're going to get that uh, we're going to get some braces put in. If I have enough daylight, I will show you uh, show you how I'm going to Well, if I have enough daylight, I'm going to get that purlin plate up here and then I'm going to try to devise a way to get it up on the frame where it needs to live for the rest of its life and hopefully the rest of mine. So stay tuned and I'll see you on the other side of it. Let's see what we get, and that's all we do here. It's really easy, it's about the simplest way I can do this, and it's the easiest way for me to hold this in place. And then it's one less thing I have to worry about as this is going together. So let's throw the brace up here and get it lined up, and then we'll move on to the next two. Well, that went in a little too nice. doesn't work out like that for me. I try to get these as close as I can to where they're going to be. That's it. Nice and easy.
Well, another really good productive night. We've got some braces set ready for a uh, purlin plate to go on top of it. We got a couple more scarf joints cut in the next purlin plate. We've just got to cut the mortises and the housings in it and that'll be ready to go up. Uh, these are going to go fast folks as long as I can stay at it at the pace we are right now. Uh, I do have some other projects I have to attend to for some family but uh, shouldn't take us away too awful long. But all in all, we're, we're getting to be where we're in pretty good shape because once these purlin plates are on, I tell you what, it's it's game on for that roof. The rafters are going to go fast. Just just regular old rough cut 2x8s, they are going to go quick. I'll tell you what, I cannot wait. But uh, anyway, don't forget the channels that we are shouting out this week. We've got the Bearded Giant, 
We have the Farm Life and we have Techron Matic. Check those guys out if you feel like it. They're, uh, you can find their channels in the playlist that will pop up at the end of this video. And we're just going to keep going. You know, I've, I've had some questions. Uh, somebody made a comment earlier about wishing for a little more tutorial. Um, for those of you who are looking for more in-depth tutorial, a lot of the, uh, probably the first two-thirds of these videos were very in-depth. And now it's just gotten so, uh, we've done the same thing so many times that I've kind of stopped explaining and more just showing the progress at this point. But uh, you can find that list, that playlist also at the end of this video if you're looking to go back to video number one on this build. And there's a lot of in-depth information on there on how to lay things out, how to cut things, stuff like that. So we're gaining on it every day, folks. We are gaining on it every day. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I will see you on the next one.